It's time for the first grand final here in the new patch 8.2 for Battle for Azeroth, and it is going to be Method Black, of course, playing the Goliath role here, the team that has won every single cup in the summer season and won by far and away the most points throughout the entire year in Europe. And they're playing against the little end light, the little end light that's been climbing up this tournament. They're 12 and 1, having a stellar performance in the new patch, playing that jungle cleave, playing that rep warrior resto shaman out of nowhere. But they're playing against the juggernauts now. And I mean, this is the best time to talk about it. So Jelly Beans was tweeting, uh, was streaming the other day. He was talking about the success that Endlight's had and saying that one of the biggest challenges that uh, the North American jungles face is just the fact that there's so many devastating melee cleaves in North America, you know, Method Orange, uh, Smexin's team, just to name a couple. There's so many teams that will run that. Now they're playing against Method Black, who really will put them to the test here. I mean, that's great that Jellybean said that, but the thing is, I feel like Endlight knows that. That's why they have a different composition. Yeah. Like, if they only ran jungle, they wouldn't be here. So that's very true. I think they, they know that the already. On for sure. I think jungle has its place in the meta, but I think there is a few, you know, places where you have to run a different composition. I mean, and that's why Enlight is making it work, bringing in the Ret Warrior, having that versatility, that flexibility, is what allows them to run this comp and have success. So do you, do you think it's fair to say that the main difference between Enlight and let's say a US team that uh, is struggling a little with the jungle, like Return Dilly's team, is the fact that they're multi-comping, or do we also think they're just playing the jungle to a higher level as well, Z? Well, they probably just have a better priest. You think they have a better priest than Yaki? Wait, who's the priest in Dilly's team? Whoa, Mil doesn't Mil even Milk remember. Man, right? <laughs> is, it, is, is it still Milkman? Yeah. yeah. I, I, think I, mean, they, I think there's a combination of both. <laughs> but, I mean... They, Fair enough. They, I mean, it's your they, opinion. They I, I tend to agree for what it's worth. They definitely have a better priest, I think. Zuniaki just they playing definitely, out. I think. It's a good thing that you're. It's a good thing well, that you're vegan, that, that's Zico. My you're, is that the, Zico, Zico, the you're really right starting up. to sound like me. Definitely, yeah. I think. Well, <laughs> my opinion. In my opinion, they definitely have a better priest. Is that better, Van? Okay. What's the shared opinion between the two majors? Because you guys have to have a combined. Yeah, Van. Well. What's what, what's your opinion on this topic? Well, I mean, I, and here's the thing. Enlight has been playing this comp. They've been making it work. They've been playing lots of different setups as well. But I feel like Kara Cassidy, Zuniaki, they're just on point, firing on all cylinders. Zuniaki, of course, he's been a legendary freeze for a long time. He's not, you know, he's, there's no messing around from this guy. He's been holding it down for years and years and years on this class. Like I've said uh, consistently throughout this tournament, if there's any priest that could do it, it would be him. I feel like it's a good thing that Zico is a vegan after not remembering the milkman. I don't think he's going to be getting any deliveries. I remember the soon. milkman, but a lot of teams changed, changed <laughs> that, their, that their teammates. Stretch. You know, uh, we, we haven't we haven't seen them in top eight for a little while. To be fair, I guess. So. Yeah. I mean, I, I think I think Dilly actually tweeted out as well to say, and we're not taking anything away from them. It sounds like we're being harsh. We're just trying to make a comparison <laughs> to say that Enlight oh. are playing out of their mind here. Dilly also tweeted to commend them on it, and I mean they're playing insane, even if they don't have the Red Warrior in every single matchup and. It helps uh, when it's needed. Their jungle cleaver's out of this world right now. They're playing crazy. They're beating the best rogue mages. They're beating Shadow Priest Rogue. They're beating Mage Lock even coming in here. And now it's the grand final. They're going to be put to the final test. 64% of you guys think that Enlight can do it against <laughs> Method Black. This never happens. Dude, the Zuniaki chat... is insane. I, honestly, I think people are just like, we want to see discipline. They just say, the end. <laughs> screw rest of Druid. Like, I'm not voting. <laughs> for that. Come on, Enlight. You can do it. I, it. It hurts to hear those words, but this is going to be the <laughs> final test here. I, Method honestly, Black are bringing in the Demon Hunter Death Knight. Yeah, uh, as someone who plays a lot of Mage, I I can't believe I'm cheering for the Jungle Cleave. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a nightmare. If they win this tournament, that's all I'm going to play on the ladder, and I think I'm going to cry. But Method Black, of course, like we kind of talked about, I think this is one of those compositions that makes it really difficult for the Jungle Cleave. It's the Demon Hunter Death Knight, the Wind Walker Death Knight. Those are the compositions that theoretically have a big advantage against Enlight on that Jungle Cleave. So we'll have to see if they can overcome all adversity and actually take down game number one against Method Black because I feel like they have to win this game if they want to win this series. How is Uniaki going to be able to run the clock here with the Mana Rift strategy utilized here by Method Black with Raikou's Demon Hunter? I'm trying to look at the essences quickly for what... Z so Zuniaki has decided to get rid of the Concentrated Flame. He knows that his Mana Bar is going to be taxed heavily, and so he has gone for the Memory of Lucid Dreams and the Ever Rising Tide to hopefully allow him to regenerate enough mana for his team to find some opportunity. But the utility that this composition
opposition brings in particular against the Disciplined Priest jungle is, I feel like, almost bulletproof. It looks like they're desperate. They're trying to kill Chaz. It could, maybe they're not even desperate. This is looking good. Yeah, we'll have to see what they can get done. Chaz does get low. They proc the Safeguard. They get Iron Bark and Renewal and his Trinket. But if it's a healer race, Zuniaki is going to get out of mana quite quickly. I mean, if Raikou can consistently land those mana rifts, he will inevitably burn through the mana, and it might not even come down to that. Swapsy on the Unholy Death Knight is just a nightmare for Zuniaki to deal with. Now, of course, the Discipline Priest, one of their main strengths is all those shields. But the problem is, if you're relying on shields to survive, in the meantime, Chaz is actually getting low. They're going to take him down. They actually did it. I did not expect that to happen. All out aggression from Enlight. They take down game number one, winning the blind pick. Wow. I'm over Never here. count out Zuniaki. It's, it took them less than one and a half minutes to defeat Method Black in the first game. Chaz falls so fast to the pressure of N Light. This is crazy, Zico. What's going on? Well, they, um, they <laughs> had a jungle and they said, let's attack their healer. They, they're and, jungle and, and they're they chopping down left. the enemy trees. Yeah, there's just, you know, a bunch of lumberjacks, you know, out in the jungle looking for some trees, you know making some toilet paper and uh, honestly uh speaking of paper zuniaki was literally tanking a dk and a dh for a majority of that game and he seemed to do a pretty good job he wasn't really the low on mana i mean he, literally the first thing that happened this game was he got gripped in and then vortexed double kicked and mana rifted but uh still chess pre-activated the iron bark you know Cassidy getting all his bleeds up, Kara as well making his way over there. And the interesting thing is they already forced out the Gladiator's safeguard pretty early on in the match. They're going to force it out right here. And Zuniaki, he used his uh, every man for himself, used his Rapture here to stay ahead. As a Discipline Priest, it's very important. You don't want to fall behind. Use your cooldowns preemptively. And that's exactly what Zuniaki is doing already, using his second fear of the game as well. They proc the safeguard here. And uh, uh, Chas already using his Bark Skin. At this point, Kara still has his aspect of the eagle, and Cassidy, he's activating his berserk, and this is when the big punch is coming in. I think they might combine that with the dark archangel here as well in a second. There's the DR bash, actually. Chas, with the iron bark, is going to make sure to stay alive for a little bit longer, but once this once this uh, defense here is over, Riker has no break out of that fear. Swapsy has no break out of that fear. Chas can't go out of bear form to dispel anything, and of course, aspect of the eagle... Um, yeah, as well as the Tiger's Fury, I believe, from uh, the Feral Druid. Is this going to be enough damage with that Dark Archangel to take him down? Yeah, and on the topic of toilet paper, it's just a case of rinse and repeat here for Enlight. If they can keep doing this on the Jungle Cleave, they will win the Grand Final 4-0. <laughs> but I mean, I just got to say, I am so impressed by Zuniaki. I feel like a broken record saying this, but even in the face of Swapsy on Death Knight, that's probably the worst thing a priest can ever see on their screen. He's still just running at Chaz, getting the crucial fears, helping his team help him with the traps. He's just playing out of his mind. I mean, uh, there's no question about it. I mean, during that game, I was trying to explain, you know, the intricacies and how an unholy <laughs> death knight sort of counters a discipline priest a little bit, but he doesn't care. He just throws caution <laughs> to the wind, charges in, lands the double fear, and uh, absolutely wins the game, helps his team with that little bit of extra damage. Now, for Method Black, where do they go? I mean, you kind of talked about their series early on in the tournament where the games were really, really back and forth. I can't help but feel like Waz, if he went on Windwalker, it would be a little bit better. I think you have the extra mortal wounds. I think it could be even be a little bit more damage, a little bit more threatening, and maybe the extra Ring of Peace could help. I just, I feel really scared for Chaz if they lock in yeah. the Demon Hunter Death Knight again. There's not much help that the Demon Hunter Death Knight really provide. He's going to have to survive all on his own, and I'm not sure he's going to be able to do it. So I think we saw two games, uh, or we saw one game th through its fruition, and we saw the end of one game on Wednesday. The game we saw, they played Red Warrior, and they lost. It was a good game, but uh, Enlight ended up losing that one. And in the other game we saw, uh, we joined it. Zuniaki was completely out of mana. Chaz was completely out of mana, and it was just this slugfest. Chase the healer, and it was really close. Maybe Chaz dying that early isn't normal in this yeah. matchup. I mean, he did die quite fast in that game, less than 90 seconds uh, on Tolfer on Arena. I mean, I don't know. Maybe, I mean, Method Black needs an answer. Maybe the Windwalker could be it. What do you think, Z? I like Windwalker DK for sure. I think it's a good answer, but uh, who was it that played it? Was it the Chalky Milkman that played it? Yeah. Yeah, uh, but... Uh, and, yeah, <laughs> man, okay. I, I, I know what we all think of Ratcher, Windwalker, compared to Wazwalker, but uh, still... Uh, they can kill so the Windwalker. Just don't tell Waz, because he'll, he'll be very happy with that. <laughs> I think yeah. he knows, but... Waz, you know, 
he, he left me on red when I asked him to queue on the last day of the season. So we're not going to talk about Waz Walker. We're going to be talking about uh, the potential comp here. Uh, Wind Walker DK could work. Mage Lock Druid as well could work on a, on a large map here. Uh, they have the Elemental Shaman comps as well available. They have a lot of different things on Method Black. Uh, a lot of cleave options. I personally would like to see Windwalker DK, I think, and just run at Zuniaki. That's what I want to see. What do you want to see? Holy Paladin, Windwalker DK. Ooh. That could uh, be very wait, interesting, didn't they yeah. Play that? No, they played Windwalker. think that there won't be a rest They, did, they played game? Turbo with Paladin at BlizzCon and a lot, right? That was their main composition for a little they, while before the They played the DH DK, I think, as well. Or DH Windwalker? They yeah, played, they they played, played some DH comp stuff. with the Holy Paladin as well. A Paladin's definitely, if, if there's one thing a Paladin is great at, which is why they are in Paladin is so successful, is it's great at keeping its team offensive, because you can double bop, you can bubble, you can sacrifice, you can keep I think the priest will die. Two minutes, I don't think the priest can the live. Priest. Yeah. Yeah. I, oh, now you're betting against smart. Suniaki. Well, I'm just saying there's a good comp I mean, option here. We've been here. betting against Suniaki <laughs> the entire time, let's be honest, except for Venruki, who's just clearly yeah, exactly. than everyone. Oh, I mean, Mage Lock Druid. Oh, this oh, is a I, good, like Druid. This. Right, I like this. This is probably fast. This is a good answer, too, but I really think the Holy Paladin, Windwalker, Death Knight is a solid answer, especially on a smaller map. So, Method Black, I mean, they probably can't hear me, but they should keep that in mind. Yeah, well, I mean, on the bigger map, we already did see this play out for Diabolos. They were able to pull through the game. Uh, it was a very close game, though, so I wouldn't say this is one sided, but on Told Veron, I think this pick, it, it does make some sense, Sid. I think sure. this is a series that goes all the way to a game seven. Although this was close. Well, if, if they can beat uh, this yeah, Jungle Cleave, it could also just go to game four. I think on the large maps, the Mage Warlock Druid should win. If we're just going purely off of uh, like how I feel it should go, but Enlight <laughs> could uh, maybe overcome it. I, I feel like they shouldn't, uh, but in Method Black can bounce to Ashamane and, and Tolveron. And then when we get to the smaller maps, those ones are, become the only option because I think there's just more smaller maps or at least medium to small than there are big. Uh, Method Black will have to try the Windwalker Death Knight at some point. And then it becomes, does Rhett Warrior beat Windwalker Death Knight? Or maybe even does Jungle still beat Windwalker Death Knight? It's very surprising to see Enlight be having the success that they are having with this composition considering nobody else is. Yeah, I mean, completely. It's, it's fantastic to see, honestly. Like, we're very used to seeing a stable meta. 8.2 has provided some surprises for us. We were expecting Residuers to completely dominate. And to be fair, they have in, been involved in the majority of games. But it's nice to see a couple of, you know, Holy Paladins on the fringes, Discipline Priests, because it's just, I, as a British person, I love to support the underdog. And Zinyaki is very much that in this matchup. But bear in mind, if they win, they overtake the Chalky Milkman. They'll be within eight points of the three teams tied in that third place position. So this is really close here in Europe. And I mean, there's nothing stopping them right now. I, I'm not convinced that there's a single comp that completely stomps Jungle Cleave right now, based on what we've seen. Based off of, of what we've seen, uh, yes. Based off of what we've heard, maybe not. And I, I feel like there is some answers, but I'm not I'm not convinced that Major Lock is just a free win. I mean, we saw what happened the last time Enlight uh, played up against Diabolus. It was a really close game. Diabolus barely won that game. They survived multiple times getting down, you know, sub 10% health. So you know, one bigger crit coming in from Cassidy or Kara, they could close out the game that way. I do feel like they're disadvantaged in this matchup if Method Black play it correctly, but Enlight has been on fire. And I mean, they have the momentum going into game number two. Yep, they definitely do. We will be heading into Tolveron Arena here. There's been a few summons coming in, you know, in 8.2. Snuts had to be summoned to save Cloud9. Now Swapsy has to be summoned by Method Black to save them. They've won two out of two cups in the summer season, but 8.2 has <laughs> offered them up a new serving of a rival, I suppose. Enlight, Zuniaki, the former team member, looking to get revenge here, looking to pull through and prove that Enlight are still a top contender. They could well win this cup if they can win this matchup. Suniaki trying to keep the Discipline Priest dream alive. Is it possible? I, I would have thought not, but Zuniaki is the last one left, and he's trying to go all the way. They take game one. They take the important blind pick victory. This means they have the swing match advantage should this series continue back and forth all the way to a game number seven. We do expect that Method Black is favored on Tolveron Arena with their spellcaster cleave, the Mage and the Warlock. 
they definitely get to succeed in open field combat, of which Tolveron Arena provides a lot. You can see that N Light are reluctant to engage in the fight. They want to be waiting until deeper stages of dampening. This is something that we didn't see from them against Diabolus. They were much more aggressive, and I'm curious what happens if they do decide to focus on this defensive, avoid the Warlock, and then make a push later on strategy. They see Swapsy pushing forward and decide to pounce, quite literally, onto him. Decent damage so far, but Chaz sees it coming and activates Iron Park one second before being stunned. Raikou is repositioned on top of Chaz to try and also soak up the freezing trap. That's good positioning on Raikou's part. There's definitely one way that Method Black can deal with the freezing trap. It's certainly a threat that they need to deal with, whether or not they are going to be switching to the Imp to dispel it, or Raikou looks to shimmer on top and eat it. Grappling Hook unfortunately isn't going to connect from car onto Chaz, so the freezing trap is still delayed and there's a lot of damage. Yeah, Zuniaki gets double interrupted and that's going to be really important for Swapsy and Raikou. You interrupt the Shadow Men, you interrupt the Pendants, there goes all the healing of the Discipline Priest and that's when you can really start generating some momentum. Zuniaki forced to use the Leap of Faith on Cassidy, bringing him back to a safe location. You have to be careful though, Cassidy and Kara, they've been standing in a lot of fell fissures that's going to really limit the healing that Zuniaki can put out. Have oh. to be out of that, Kara getting low, big damage, interrupted on Zuniaki once again. And Swapsy with really good positioning is dragging Kara out into the open. Method Black is dominating this matchup. Yeah, this is looking like an entirely different Mage Warlock Druid in this particular matchup. It is. Uh, <laughs> and, Light, and Light have to run for their lives. Although I'm not so sure if it's actually for their better men. I mean, they can just extend the game and wait for dampening. We've seen that time and time again against the Destruction Warlock, so long as Uniaki can maintain some good mana. Raku gets blasted. It's going to be the Gladiator safeguard as a result of multiple concentrated flames activated Whoa. simultaneously, potentially even an ice block. Freezing Trap is still up. Psychic Scream secured. Raku is holding onto an ice block, but there's a Raptor eating his face. He is going to have to ice block on very low health. And like continue the chain through a situation. They master spell the ice block. They look for even more. They can get an, I an Iron Bark on this attempt as well. That would be devastating for Method Black. Big Chaos Bolt from Swapsy. You leave him open for too long. He's going to get the Fell Fishers. He's going to get the damage rolling. Doing a really good job. Cassidy getting caught to a bash. Chaz looking to get aggressive, but Dark Archangel. Raikou, I think he's still in hypothermia. He's in trouble. He has the cold snap. He has a nice bear. Iron Bark, trink uh, Trinket and Iron Bark traded out by Chaz to keep Raikou alive. Such a scary moment. Cassidy and Kara. I mean, normally Frost Mages are such a durable class, but Kara and Cassidy putting out such massive damage. They're actually forcing Raikou to run and hide at multiple points in this game. And we're not, we haven't even stepped foot into dampening. Zuniaki is running Shining Force. I think that was to counteract the efflorescence build that we've seen Restoration Druids running throughout the tournament. But Chaz is actually not running it. So this talent, the knockback oh. is not going to get any value. Freezing Trap right now on Chaz. Swapsy the target here as they switch. Big damage on both teams, actually. Kara in a bit of trouble. Zuniaki manages to stabilize by pulling Kara out of the fight and to the pillar so that he can line of sight safely. Mana surprisingly even here. Cassidy's trying to duck for cover. Big Chaos Bolts connect. Zuniaki's interrupted. Cassidy has to pick himself back up, but he's caught in that fell fissure. The green fire on the ground reduces healing by 50%. Big damage from Raikou as well here, but he's left Swapsy alone with Kara. Kara is developing momentum on that front. Double Mortal Coil from Swapsy. One gets dispelled. Zuniaki, what's he going to do? Again, he's in a situation where he faces one of the most difficult compositions and the most difficult map as a Discipline Priest. He needs to be navigating both offense and defense to avoid being swapped to, avoid being crowd controlled, but still get crowd control of his own. Freezing Trap secured. Doesn't look like Swapsy is running the Imp to spell, so that is going to sit full duration. Raikou is trying to polymer of Kara to slow down the fight. They stun Chaz out of the Freezing Trap. Swapsy gets interrupted. He can't unending resolve for one more second. Uh -oh. Big damage. All three members uh -oh. close in. Glyer's Maledict soaking uh -oh. up the He's actually going to get taken out. It's actually insane to watch N Light closing these games out so quickly. This is Method Black. This is Method Black, the two-time champions, the team that has been dominating Europe. And yes, they did way more damage, but they also died way faster. Absolutely incredible. And like 2-0, and we haven't even seen dampening yet in this game. Yep, and that was Magelock Druid on Tolveron Arena as well. So Tolveron Arena going to be out of the way. 2-0 lead already. This is a best of seven, though, remember? So if Enlight wins the next game, Method Black are still going to be in it. And... Uh, 
honestly, they, uh, maybe they got a, a little bit of practice in that first round because this looked way different in terms of pressure on both sides. Uh, Kara early on was super, super pressured, but uh, this is the strategy that we kind of saw from these guys. They go over onto Raikou, they, uh, you know, force Chas to kind of second guess who they're going to be hitting here. And then after that, Cassidy makes his way back over to Swapsy. They're going to give Chas, you know, a limited amount of time here to apply those healing over time effects. There is a full trap. And then, the, honestly, the response from Method Black was just a little bit too slow here. Swapsy didn't use his uh, unending resolve until he was very, very low. And then, you know, the intimidation shout to follow up the trap into the DR bash. Dark Archangel. Iron Bar comes out way too late. Uh, overlapped, of course, with that late um, unending resolve. And it's just too much damage there from N Light, you know. And it's all at the back of this strategy that they, they also used to play, you know, I used to play a lot against Cassidy, even back in Legion, and this is something that we kind of called uh, softening them up, and that was the strategy that, that Cassidy always liked to do. They would go on someone, get them to, you know, around 80%, and then go for the full CC chain, and it would just net them so many more cooldowns, because the CC chain, it, it, would, it would just be a lot more effective when someone is already low or doesn't have healing over time effects, so they just play around those small advantages and they do it beautifully. Yeah, I mean, th that's one thing, right? We talk about these new age melee, the Demon Hunter, the DK, the Windwalker, the kind of new additions to the game, and they're just kind of super powered heroes. But they're all very much uh, stuck to tunneling one person. Whereas Cassidy, you know, he's reminding us that the Feral's still here. He's using that little Ferrari to buzz around, put a few dots on the mage, put a few dots on the Warlock, and they find their openings, and they're doing such a good job of it in this series. Do a lot of damage. <laughs> I do, do a lot, lot of damage, of damage well. man. I, I can't believe it. Are you looking forward to Monday when it's just going to be jungle versus? I'm Paul, playing Windwalker. Paul, yeah. Paul, Paul, Paul. I, I'm playing Windwalker Death Knight Paladin. <laughs> That's it. And I love damage. Gonna run at those priests and still take them <laughs> down. Yeah, th it, it's it's really nice to see. It I is mean, really nice. Yeah. Normally, I mean, earlier on in the tournament, I was saying, you know, uh, I don't think it's possible for a destruction warlock to die pre dampening, but these guys are putting out so much pressure, like you said. Softening him up, I like to say buttering him up for a swap opportunity a little bit later on, but they get the crowd control chain, they get out their coordinated damage with some of the new essences, and it's really catching these teams off surprise. And I mean, this this has to be why Diabolus didn't just auto lock in Mage Lock Druid, because I'm sure they played out games like this where, you know, yeah, they're just doing such a good job and light. They're bouncing between the Mage and the Warlock, who are both, I guess, pretty easy targets for them to take down, and maybe it's not as big a counter as we thought. Yeah, buttering them up, then toasting them, I think has been the strategy here for Enlight. Just <laughs> Not in that order. Not in that order? Not in that yeah, order. Yeah, I suppose not in that order. Fair enough. Well, You're I not mean, cooking in the apartment. Buttering them up and I'm, devouring I'm not, them. I'm not, I'm not, devouring them, yeah. exactly. <laughs> that, that's, that sounds better. I'm definitely not cooking. I'll, I'll stick to what I'm doing here. <laughs> and stick light. to eating. <laughs> stick to eating. I'm really good at eating. Fantastic. Oh, I know. <laughs> and like <Like> seven feet. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, let's, get, let's get back. I know it's kind of crazy, but we don't have to, to judge my figure too yep. much. And like 2 0 up in this series. Method Black, they've won everything. Like, only two teams have. I mean, no one's beaten them so far in summer. No one at all. Only really wildcard gaming rivaled them at all in the, um, in the last season. Now, I mean, they must be kind of stumped at this point. You know, the double caster, their Mage Lock Druid hasn't worked. Their Demon Hunter Death Knight hasn't worked. And I do want to talk about their Mage Lock Druid because we did see Diabolos win that matchup. And we have criticized Method Black on this Mage Lock before. You know, like, obviously, they lost to Diabolos in the Spring Finals running it. Do we think that it was more Enlight just stepping up even further, having had that practice round earlier? Or do we think that Method Black still has some work to do if they really want to commit to this Mage Lock Druid, Zika? Well, I think uh, Method Black needs to work on the Mage Lock Druid for sure. In general, I haven't been super impressed. They've, they've done a decent job with it, but I feel like it's not on the same level as, you know, things like their Demon Hunter DK or things like their Rogue Mage Druid, where it's just, you know, it is on that top, top yeah. cut. Uh, so I, I feel like that is one part of it, but I also think... Uh, I think Enlight, they played almost about as good as you can play it against the Diablos, but still somehow this game looked even better. And I think a lot of it is at the back of how offensive Method Black plays their Mage Rock Druid. I, th I think Method Black, they forced out, you know, the uh, the aspect of the turtle early on from Kara. They had a lot of pressure going into that game. But then because they're also, you know, positioning more offensively, taking more wow. risks, then it, it also seemed like, okay, well, Enlight were able to kind of you know, take advantage of that offensive playstyle by being even more aggressive. So 
Yeah. Why? Why, why uh, is uh, everyone picking this why? car? I mean, they just don't seem to have an answer. I mean, the Windwalker DK, we would love to see it, especially Holy Pan actually makes a lot of sense given, you know, Holy Pans do so much healing, they have so many cooldowns, but Metho Black don't want it all in. They're, they're sticking to this kind of swapsy on the Warlock, and I, I don't think there's too much agreement on the desk with this one. I think Swapsy is just going to die, or Waz is going to die. Like, I don't know what they could really... I, honestly, I don't feel like Walrex, Asgarath, and Nixie played it bad. Like, I thought it looked pretty good, and then yeah. they lost on this map. I'm, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. Like, Metha Black, you know, they're, they're putting all their eggs in different baskets. They're trying different things, but they're not trying the one comp we would like to see them, that Windwalker Death Knight. And if it comes back to bite them, then Cassidy will be more than happy to bite them in this situation. Was on the Warrior, I mean, is there even, like we were saying during the Warrior Warlock Druid that we were actually super impressed by the plays that Asgraf and Warwick in particular were making, right? Like it was a really good game for them and they still ended up losing, so. I, I don't like this pick. I also think Swapsy oh, should try running the Imp. If they are going to run the Destruction Warlock, I think the only edge that they get from doing that is having the Imp to dispel Freezing Trap. I don't think they were running it in the last game. I mean, it's still a gamble because Enlight knows the strategy when an imp's in the arena to use the Entangling Root and Freezing Trap yep. at the same time. And the imp can only dispel one magic. That's two. Freezing Trap is one. Entangling Root is one. So it means the imp has a 50% chance to not get the Freezing Trap, Cook which math. means the healer will that sit it. Nice <laughs> but it's still better. I swear, it's still better if you are going to bring the Warlock in. Uh, but I, it would be better. I mean, they, we haven't seen the Thunder attempted, but I, think th I actually think Thunder would get owned. Yeah, I maybe. think Thunder would just yeah. get maybe right. melted. That, that's the thing. Like we we keep proposing compositions, but we've we don't seen know. N Light melt everything. This is a new patch. Like we don't know everything. We don't know how much that, these guys are capable of, and they keep proving us wrong, anyways. I mean, I think that's one of the things with some of the North American hunters who are saying, "Oh yeah, jungle's not good." Too, it's like it, it's really, not it really. As it, well. it hasn't even been a week of yeah. the patch. I don't mm -hmm. think we figured that out just yet. I mean. Yep. Obviously, N, N Light has some tricks up their sleeves. They've been doing a really good job. They're in the grand finals, yep. up 2 0 against Method Black. I mean, this is not something you would normally expect. I predicted Method Black to win this tournament, but N Light has just been proving me wrong, taking down everybody, and things are looking really good for them in this finals. Yep, it's looking absolutely great for them. And I, I do want to talk to you as a former competitor about this as well. They've been on the stage basically the entire day. They've been, I think, in three out of four of our series today, and they're on an absolute tear. You know, like they're looking unstoppable. Their mentality right now, they're absolutely buzzing, surely. Oh, I mean, you can bet. They haven't lost today. I mean, yep. they've had some close games, but they've been doing a really phenomenal job. And I mean, they're playing this composition that no one else is running. You know, myself included, didn't think it was necessarily the best composition, but now that I'm seeing it play out, the amount of damage that they're able to put out and how durable, honestly, Zuniaki is. I mean, in the past, when you see Discipline Priest, they were on a severe time limit, but some of these essences have completely changed the game in that regard, and Enlight's been able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Restoration Druids in terms of mana, in terms of pressure, actually keeping these Restoration Druid teams on the back foot for a lot of the game, and it's just been really nice to see, and I think... It's fun for me to, I think it's fun for all of us and everyone at home to watch the jungle cleave. It's just such a fast paced game. I, I love it because really anything can happen. They're going after multiple targets. They're not just training down one target. They're really keeping their opponents guessing. Yeah, and I mean, we're playing in a meta where we're seeing a, a bit of everything, right? Like this this end light jungle cleave will kill you in 90 seconds. But then on the flip side, we have games that go to like 60, 70% dampening, right? Like it's 69%. really does 69% specifically. The highest of the day. The I'm writing it down. Just so that Zico is right with his prediction, we've got to make sure of that one. But I mean, still an A. There's still an A. There's still, still an A. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> and, they, and they could go more deep, but I mean, there's still C9. There's <laughs> still C9. But I mean, that's that's what I'm saying. It's like it's really great to have like different playstyles because I think in 8.1.5, almost every single team just had to go for dampening. They'd win on mana. Now that some of these mana essences are coming in, we see someone like Zuniaki with a little bit of help of his team able to pull through even in those deep damp games. But then they have a composite that's drafted with the damage to actually kill people early as well. Well, what would happen early on in the patches is compositions like, you know, the Paladin, Fire Mage, Assassination Rogue, or compositions like Jungle, like these comps that are really, really fast-paced. They want to win just in quick 
crowd controls and big burst damage, they would just go out of mana. So some of these outlast teams would just survive their burst and then they would eventually just default win because they could outmana their opponents. But now with the essences, the paladins are looking real nice. The discipline priests are looking real nice. And not only do they have the damage to sort of try to push through a lot of that defense the restoration druid teams bring, but they also can maintain their mana so they don't just lose in the late game. Well, 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 it took us a little while to get into this game. My, my only assumption is that Method Black are stumped. They're not used to being in this position of 2-0 down, especially against a new composition. They wanted to use every single bit of time at their disposal to figure out, to calm down. How is anyone going to stop N Light this weekend? How is anyone going to stop N Light? I think most of the teams are going to start having nightmares and they're going to need a night light after this tournament. <laughs> Zuniaki <laughs> is doing a ton of damage. Carr and Cassie backing them up effectively. And they're not just one trick ponies either. They've got the Retribution Paladin. Tana has been doing a great job on the Restoration Shaman. They're basically playing every single spec that is considered not good in the current meta and winning with them. So if there was an underdog story, it would definitely be that. If they can somehow 4-0 Method Black, I'm still not a fan of the Arms Warrior Destruction Warlock. Like you were saying, I think the Windwalker Deathlay is likely the best option for Method Black. I'm wondering if Chaz switches from Druid. That's not something I thought I would say in 8.2 if someone would think about switching from Druid, but it, it may be the case that he needs to. Seeing the return of the Dwarves coming in from Swapsy and Waz, both of them opting to play the Dwarven Racial, of course. Uh, they're going to be able to use that racial to remove all the bleed and damage over time effects that Cassidy and Kara have available. And it's really powerful against the jungle cleave, especially to survive right now. Waz moving forward, but he may have overstayed his welcome. He's taking quite a bit of burst damage. Chaz in the back line, able to quickly top him off. Zuniaki trades out the power word barrier. There's a full trap. Waz could be in a little bit of trouble. They're still going after him. Actually, Cassidy, he's looking to soften up Swapsy as well, getting some damage rolling. Waz jumps back over onto Zuniaki with a nice pummel. There's really good damage here for Method Black. All right, good pressure from Waz. That's exactly what they need. They're on a bit of a clock, which is also something I didn't think I would say. The Restoration Druid is actually the one on the clock in this particular matchup. Waz needs to create pressure on Zuniaki, and Swaps needs to create pressure onto the other targets, Kara and Cassidy, simultaneously if they want to find victory. But of course, Enlight have tools to thwart Waz's assaults with that Thorns. It's going to be difficult for him to stay on Zuniaki, and he has to come back to get healed by Chaz. But Chaz is currently crowd controlled. Swapsy is as well. Waz is all alone. Swapsy is going very far out of the match right now, thanks to. Zuniaki. Chaz interrupted into a stun. Perfect crowd control. Waz gets swapped to right when he wanted to go aggressive. Dark Archangel is up. This could be devastating, but swaps he reverses with the triple shadow fury. Zuniaki is now low on health. He may have spent too long trying to get aggressive. He's out in midfield. That's going to be the gladiator safeguard. The rapture. Big absorption effects from Zuniaki. Interrupted on his shadow men's. Waz generating a lot of pressure with the avatar, but decides to give up the chase. Zuniaki, despite getting caught out in the middle, created so much pressure that Chaz is actually at half mana two minutes into the game. Yeah, the damage is just insane from Kara Cassidy and Zuniaki and Light really bringing it to Meta Black. But Waz said good pressure. Zuniaki completely stabilizes though. And now pressure greatly in favor of N Light. Waz leaps away, not very heroically, but he will ultimately survive. Stun on Chaz, is there any fall of crowd control? Swaps, he could just fall. We saw in the last game, he fell getting off his unending resolve at around 5% health. Now, psychologically, that could do something to Swapsy. He might be afraid he might end up using that cooldown a little bit too early. He doesn't want to go down by essentially wasting it like we saw in the last game. So we'll have to make sure Meta Black plays it calm, cool, and collected. They don't overlap their defensives. They use them at the right time. Big yeah. Chaos Bolts on Zuniaki. He's trying to get away. Desperate Prayer, as well as the Power Word Barrier. He gets feared up on that cast. Suniaki's in a lot of trouble. Yeah, they've denied a lot of his heals. His Desperate Prayer is going to fade shortly, and with it, the bonus health. Can Waz chop him up? Suniaki now with Thorns, though. Waz needs to be careful. If he attacks him, he's going to take some damage in exchange as well. He can't stay on target. Switches back to Cassidy and Kara. Of course, if Waz also attacks Suniaki while he's being hit, he can get the Sweeping Strikes, Bladestorm, and Blender down the team of N Light and turn them into a Jungle Cleave Protein Shake at that point but he's not able to stay on target. Swaps he gets swapped to. He's taking a huge hit. Chaz is still crowd controlled. Unending resolve is going to be fading here shortly. If they can get Iron Park on this as well, they're going to be in a good position.
Can Waz stay on target? Can he push forward to Zuniaki, chop him up and find victory for Method Black? Even if he can, I feel like in light against this Destruction War like Armstrong, they're going to go back to the Red Warrior and then crush them. I mean, in light winning two in a row and more importantly winning the blind pick means they'll almost oh. always have the comp advantage. Freezing Trap secured. Doesn't look like there's an imp in the arena. This could just be it. Zuniaki moves in. Glider's Maledict activated. Going to be absorbing some healing. Not going to be it. Chaz getting some pretty big heals. I did expect that to be a big push, but not nearly enough. Car out midfield. Activated the aspect of the turtle. There's multi there's two infernals that have been procced from the vision of perfection of Swapsy. Car trying to respect that, but it may not have been necessary, and now he won't have that defense later on. Yeah, Car, he actually traded out the aspect of the turtle to avoid a fear. And then he just got feared anyways as soon as he canceled it. So maybe a bad decision there by Kara, but they wanted to play aggressive. Now it's Cassidy that's in trouble. Zuniaki has his work cut out for him. What is he going to be able to do? He gets spell locked once. Waz leaps over, looking to interrupt him again. Good pressure from Swapsy, but Swapsy's on the back foot also. He has his mana not doing great, and this is what we talked about. The Discipline Priest seems to actually be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Restoration Druid in terms of mana. There's a pummel over on Azuniaki. Waz getting out some decent damage, but he has to be careful. He's overextended. He's caught in a bash. He trinkets out. And he's going to have to retreat, I think, at this point. Zuniaki has the Dark Archangel. If they get any crowd control, there's no Iron Bark as a response. And remember, Chaz is playing Relentless, so he doesn't have a Trinket. Swapsy or Waz could easily fall on this next attempt. All right, let's see if they can pull it off. Chaz, the crowd controlled. Swapsy's in trouble. There's no defense. He gets knocked out. That knockback talent into the root. Perfect timing. The efflorescence healing is denied. I love that strategy from Enlight, realizing all these Restoration Druids are running the Spring Blossoms. They can deny that bonus healing by knocking Swapsy out of its defense. Waz as well. Great play by en Enlight. Six strategies, things that other teams have just not even considered. It's a, every other team is just like, yeah, Resto Druid, Destro Warlock, let's play it out to 80% dampening. And then <laughs> Enlight are like, nah, we're going fast. We're going to be pushing you over, and these strategies, these compositions are working out for them here in 8.2. And this, is this the first time we're going to see a Discipline Priest win one of these cups? I feel like it may be. It is. Zuniaki looking to try and break some records here on his return. He's beaten former teammate after former teammate. Can Enlight do it? Dampening has now kicked in, and you would actually say that that's normally advantageous to Method Black's composition, but I'm not sold that it is anymore. I think it is more so towards Enlight. Yeah, Enlight doing a great job. Zuniaki does get spell locked. He has the Dark Archangel. Could be available. Swapsy, of course, he has his Dunning Resolve coming up shortly. That's going to be a major defensive cooldown, and I think Enlight realized it. They're just going after Waz. Mame's done as Swapsy gets mind control. There's the full trap. Waz, it is danger time, but luckily Chaz managed to connect that Iron Bark. I want, said luckily, but it's definitely a very skillful play. Stun now over onto Chaz. Swapsy forced to use the Unending Resolve. Just massive damage coming in from N Light, and they still have the Dark Archangel. I think this next attempt, Swapsy is going to fall down. Yeah, this could be a huge hit for N Light if they can hold on a little bit longer. Chaz has no defense, neither does Swapsy. If they knock Swapsy out of that efflorescence, out of that green circle, he's going to lose all of the healing. They need to do it when Chaz is crowd controlled. There's the freezing trap. Where's the knock? They're actually switching targets. They're going after Waz. Multiple concentrated flames, but he was ready for that attack. He uses the demonic gateway. He gets to safety. I can't help but feel that that was a mistake in terms of targeting. Now Cassidy overextended, caught in a bash. Ursul's vortex on the life grip. Perfect play by Chaz, giving an opportunity for Method Black to bounce back. Well, Rapture up for Zuniaki right now. He should be able to keep his team alive. Cassidy kiting around the map, trying to avoid the damage of Waz. In the meantime, Karen Swapsy having a little bit of a 1v1. Here comes Cassidy looking to back him up. He's got his offensive cooldown available. When is he going to use it? Jazz Mana not doing great, but he still has enough to hold on for a little bit longer. We're at around 17% dampening. End light in this series, currently up 2 to 0. No one would have expected it. Can they take down Method Black? Are they going to be able to go 3 to 0 in this series? Keep in mind, it's a best of seven. So this is not match point. Method Black will have another chance if they lose. Right now, they're getting aggressive on Zuniaki. He's trying to kite away and get out of line of sight, and he should be able to do so. And Cassidy and Kara are really going to punish Waz anytime they try to go after the Discipline Priest. I think that's one of the reasons why Method Black has kind of struggled to find a little bit of pressure is oh, the babysitting no. of Zuniaki, but Waz is still just all over him doing massive damage. They're starting to get overwhelmed. Waz has more than enough defense to stay on top of Zuni, but he's actually choosing not to. I'm a bit surprised here. 
He doesn't want to attack into Thorns, I guess. He's going to switch targets. Chaz is in a freezing trap. This could be the big push. They need to get a kill. Zuniaki's not moving in. I'm a bit surprised. He's killing Waz. Waz is the target. Concentrated flame. Gladiator's Maledict. Big assault onto Waz. Does he see it? His Gladiator safeguard is fortunately going to proc there, absorbing the hits. Cassidy getting blasted by Swapsy. He's forced to retreat back to attack Waz, but they do want to stack them up. They actually want Waz to be the target, I think, and dampening so that he can blade storm on three targets. He can sweeping strikes oh. three targets. Zuniaki is sitting down for a big drink. That entangling root on the Fell Hunter perfectly timed. Zuniaki's got way more mana. And if you give this guy mana, man, he's going to give you a lot of damage. This is going to be very scary for Method Black. Look at Swapsy. He's in so much trouble. Zuniaki has to hold on. He's in midfield. One Chaos Bolt lands. Powered barrier. There's a root on Waz. He managed to get the Blade Storm on it. Zuniaki could be in a lot of trouble. He might have to trade out every single one of his defenses, but Waz can't afford to attack into Thorns. Pain suppression oh. should be enough. He gets caught to the Mortal Coil. Glad he had a safeguard procs. He still Yikes. has it. He's not using it. No, no pain suppression. I can't believe it. Waz is in a lot of trouble. He's trying to overextend him. Pain suppression comes in. Zuniaki's going to survive, and now it's Waz who's going to be in a lot of trouble. I can't tell if he did that on purpose to just try and give me a panic attack or if he was trying to bait Waz further in. Waz doesn't have anything. Chaz is in a freezing trap. Waz is trying to go for the kill, but he doesn't have anything to stay alive. Is he going to be able to find the kill before Kara takes him out? He's chopping up Zuni. Zuni's trying to get away. Waz gets stunned. He gets one shadow mend. Somehow Zuniaki is staying alive. If they take away the big maps from Method Black, Method Black can't rely on these Warlock compositions anymore. Kara now getting swapped to. Waz doesn't get the kill. Zuniaki holds on to dear life. Iron Bark's up in one second, but Chaz is stunned. He can't do it. Kara gets mortal coiled. Can he get the freezing trap? He needs it. He grapples over. He snags it. No no Iron Bark, Waz leaps away. They have to attack Swapsy. He's going to unending resolve and try and kill them in a reversal. Not finding too much damage. Cassidy saw it coming, used survival instincts, and then reduced all of the damage as a result. Waz is now so low on health. Chaz has absolutely no mana. Zuniaki is moving in. Concentrated flame penance. Big damage. Waz is on the run. But I don't think there's anywhere for him to go. All three members of N Light closing in. He's going to just charge on his Zuniaki in reckless abandon to try and get a kill before his team ultimately falls. Pressure on both sides. There's the Can trap. Swapsy carry it back? I don't Swapsy. think so. He gets stunned up. So much He's trouble. So critically low on health. Barrier of Zuniaki buying his team time. I don't think Method Black have that luxury. Yeah, Swapsy's in a lot of trouble. Chaz has literally no in. mana left to work with. Zuniaki off the back of that drink could keep his team alive, but they're trying to take down Cassidy. Cassidy could be in some trouble. He's forced to run away. Waz putting out massive damage. Kara looking to solo down Swapsy at this point in the game. Cassidy just has to hold on a little longer. Chaz managed to recover some mana. I don't know how, but Swapsy, I think it's just too much damage. End light up 3 to 0 in the grand finals. Zuniaki could be the first disciplined priest to win one of these cups the entire year. The entire We're, expansion. The entire expansion, 40% dampening, and Zuniaki has more mana than Chaz at the end of the game. Absolutely insane. The drinks, the synergy, the damage, everything going in favor of N Light, and they are 3 0 up in the grand final. Honestly, both teams play that game incredibly. Everything they both did was the right call, but it just came down to individual plays. And this one right here is one of my favorites. Look at that fellow hunter right there. Boink. Root. It's rooted. There's a trap in front of it as well. And you can't see because there's a lower third right now covering it. But Zuniaki is sitting down there getting a massive drink. When he was tapped, Chaz was tapped. And the priest getting more mana is for sure the deal breaker here because Chaz, he's playing a Knight of Druid. He can go and Shadow Man and stealth, you know, uh, from time to time here. But uh, this play right here just allows them to get to a point where Chaz is completely tapped. Zuniaki still has a little bit of mana left to go with. And he adds that extra damage. He adds those extra dispels. He keeps his team going. And Kara and, uh, of course, Cassidy doing such a great job bouncing between the two targets of Swapsy and Waz. Every single time Waz goes to hit Zuniaki, Cassidy is hitting Waz to force him off of Zuniaki. Meanwhile, Kara is setting up pressure. Kara is getting traps. But all three members of Enlight just, you know, lights out. The, the synergy, the communication is on point from N Light. Even little things like that, rooting the pet so Zuniaki's being able to drink. Team France here, N Light. I mean, first they win the Football World Cup, sorry, American Soccer World Cup. And now football. they come through the Football World Cup. And now they come through here 3 0 against Method Black. All, th all four of these members from France representing, coming in strong here in Europe. And I mean, we said it already the implication on the points. If they win this, which it's looking like they will. <laughs> 
I can't believe I'm saying that. They'll have 152 points. They'll be eight points behind third place. They will be doing absolutely fantastically here in the summer season. And this is just the first cup of four in patch 8.2. I tweeted out the other day that I loved Enlight and yep. <laughs> on Friday, and that, that tweet aged well because I it still did. love him yep. here today. <laughs> this is just these games are absolutely incredible to watch, super fun. I can't believe they're making Jungle Cleave work so well. It really seems strong. I feel like Zuniaki with the way he's managing his mana and their damage, and just the way they defend him. I mean, normally if you leave a Discipline Priest alone for long enough, an Arms War is going to chop him up. But I think the Thorns, as well as just these raw damage they have on not only Waz and Swaps, it just makes them it makes it really difficult to take him down. And Kara and Cassidy, obviously, they're really durable targets. For Method Black, I kind of wonder where they're going to go. What I would like to see them do is go to a small map and try to just run over the Discipline Priest. I mean, that's been one of the weaknesses of the Discipline Priest in the past, and I think they can definitely execute a strategy like that because it seems like in these games, it, I can't help but favor and light. Yeah, I mean, it certainly seems that way. Like, the traditionally, if you're a Discipline Priest, you'd think the Death Knight is the answer. They beat the Death Knight once somehow. Now, I mean, Method Black has to win four in a row. There's not, no easy way around it. They have to win four games in a row if they are to take this grand final. And I mean, this does kind of pose the question, you know, Method Black have shown weaknesses over the last couple of years. They always win the Cups. You've got teams like Change My Mind that just throw the same thing at them again and again and again, and Method Black always win. But when a curveball comes in, they're slow to react sometimes. You know, North America, they threw everything at the rest of the against the DHDK, and then Cloud9 ends up winning that tournament. In BlizzCon, we saw uh, we saw the kind of change to the Holy Paladin coming in at the last second, the change on the poison dispels, and then they end up losing that tournament as well. Should more European teams be throwing curveballs at Method Black to unease them? Because it seems to be working here. I mean, this is a curveball in terms of the meta, but this is a composition that Enlight have been playing the entire year. Just not the strongest one, but now we can see that all that time they spent on it, all the time they spent in high gravity training against the Restoration Druids, they're now back here, even more powerful. And this is a team that maybe we're sleeping on because they're always, they only, I think they have like 32 points or even less than that. They're always not even in the top four in terms of points, but the players on this roster deserve a lot of respect. And I think commendation for breaking into this tournament with two compositions that don't have a single specialization that I would say is kind of the meta or the flavor of the month, really. They're just playing these oddball setups but they're making them work they're killing method black in the fastest games i think i've ever seen method black get killed in uh for the summer season at least here tiger's peak locked in for method black which doesn't tell me that they want to be playing some sort of melee cleave initially maybe they were hoping and light wouldn't play the jungle they're like here's a here's a neutral map where maybe ret warrior is an advantage but i think and light is still going to be playing the same thing and i mean they are but method black this is where they're really tested are they going to keep trying it uh, the Death Knight Demon Hunter didn't look like it worked, but it doesn't mean that Death Knight comps in general don't work. And I'm wondering if that's what they're kind of tossing around, is whether or not they do feel the Death Knight comps can beat them. Here in a best of seven, of course, you're going to see a lot of different maps. But now the Tolveron and Ashamanes are taken away. I think that the Spellcaster Cleave option is no longer an option for Blessed Black. Look what's left. I mean, if they, if they win on Tiger's Peak, look at the remainder of the maps that we get to play at. The end light's got to be feeling cleave. pretty happy. Yeah, they're yeah. all end light maps. Yeah, uh, they're all end light maps. And I mean, this kind of does draw back into my point because like you say, end light, sure, they're fantastic wow. at these comps. They are absolutely insane. Classic. And Method Black will be logging in the Rogue Mage Druid. I want to get your take on this in a second, Zika. But I mean, as you said, Sid, this is not a meta composition. And I mean, Method Black, should definitely have an answer to Jungle Cleave, but do they have it today? Clearly not. They don't have the answer today. And that's what I'm saying. These curveballs, you know, when they slap them across uh, Method Black's way, sometimes it does take them a week or two to adapt to it, and we've seen that in previous tournaments. Yeah, well, here's the thing. In the past, you look at a Discipline Freeze, you just kind of laugh. I mean, let's be honest. Yep. I mean, they did have an answer. It was Demon Hunter Death Knight. They just free win every single time they play against it. But now with the essences, now with some of the changes to Discipline Priest and the added damage that they get from these essences is sort of turning some of these matchups in end light's favor and method black they're gonna have to go back to the drawing board they're gonna try out their rogue mage druid but i have a funny feeling it's not gonna work yeah i mean it needs to work four games in a row and i want to uh, like i said i want to get your takes on this on zico because this is classic method black you know when yep. Roaz and raikou are together for about three years now whenever they're losing whenever times are tough they revert back to that rogue mage yep can always count on that <laughs> rogue mage. <laughs> it's like uh, <laughs> it's like a cockroach. It just never dies. You you can't get rid of rogue mage. I like rogue it's mage. Impossible. I don't uh, like. Do you think this is a mistake? Well, I think I think 
what this tells me is that Method Black, they don't have any other answers. They've tried all the comps that they think would work, and this is the best that they have. So I, I think this is more of a, okay, we know we're probably going to lose this matchup, but this is a matchup we're really comfortable in. When we play Rogue Mage, anything can happen, so we're going to go with that. But uh, uh, I think it is a mistake because they have a DK on their roster, and I still think that despite how the first game went, I don't think you can judge a game based off of, you know, having a bad opener like that. I think there's things you can change. I think you can even change your healer uh, in that matchup, and you're still going to have a pretty good time because, you know, it's a DK versus a Priest. Eventually, the Priest will die. Um, so I would have rather seen, you know, maybe a Windwalker DK game, maybe, you know, uh, a Rogue DK game. They, they've, they've ran some stuff in the past, uh, but instead they're going to go with Comfort, which I can also respect, but I don't think it's going to work. I think Raikou is, uh, yeah, he's not going to have a great time. The final boss, Method Black, the seemingly undefeatable European roster. Enlight are 3-0 up. Method Black, they had to resort back to their main composition. It is going to be that Rogue, that Frost Mage, and the Restoration Druid. They need four games in a row if they are to defeat Zunyaki and Enlight. Zunyaki out for revenge against his former teammates Raikou and Waz suddenly turning the table in his own favor with this Discipline Priest. The oddball compositions, the misfits, they're looking to 4-0, the current top point earners of Europe. Big assault towards Raikou early on, but he sees it coming. Temporal Shield soaks it up, and now Method Black, they're going after Zuniaki. They're going after the healer, but this type of healer is actually one of the most difficult to kill as a rogue mage, and I'm not sure that this gamble is worth it for Method Black. This is a risky choice to be going after Zuniaki on match point. Yeah, but it is a strategy we see from Rogue Mage Druid. You control the DPS. You can see Cassidy got hibernated into a polymorph. In the meantime, Zuniaki can't help. He manages to land the double fear onto Raikou, onto Waz. She has avoiding crowd control, and they need to get some damage rolling. I think it, they should go after Waz in this situation. If Kara can stand on top of Zuniaki, and he can manage to find the mending bandage consistently, on those kidney shots, then he can ultimately help Zuniaki with enough damage reduction that he could survive. But Zuniaki could just fall in the opener. He still has pain suppression. He's got the Desperate Prayer. He's looking for Shadowman. He gets oh. kicked in the last second. Desperate Prayer comes in. He's got the Power Word Bear and pain suppression. He gets Cycloned on it. Good control here for Method Black. Things are looking good. Beautiful start for Method Black. Vendetta is still available for Waz. He could just close this out. They've been nailing these interrupts. But finally, crowd control secured for End Light. They switch to Waz, trying to get him off Zuniaki. It's all about protect the pre in this given matchup. Car with the Mending Bandage as well is a great way to remove the damage over time effects from the Assassination Rogue. Car and Cassidy definitely need to support, but the crowd control that Chaz and Raikou are utilizing on Cassidy with Polymorph and Hibernate is making it difficult for Enlight to generate pressure. Finally, some damage here onto Waz. They do manage to pull off the Iron Park. Zuniaki wrapping around the corner, trying to pull Waz away from Chaz so that he has to move into range of maybe a Psychic Scream or some incoming stunts. Zuniaki's position Ooh, is good, but I'm not sure if it will be enough. The Damage output right now from Method Black looks solid. Big flurry Comet Storm combo. Sunyaki barely holds on. And barely holds on. He's still got the powered barrier. Playing it a little bit greedy, but ultimately does survive. Terra had a beautiful mending bandage on that last kidney shot. Full blind now secured onto Cassidy. Waz looking to get really aggressive. Does he have the follow up sap? Unfortunately not, but Raikou lands the polymorph as his Feral Druid. That's got to be a sad story. That was a kidney shot on Zuniaki still. He's trying to survive. He's tanking through a lot of this incoming damage. He's kind of stabilized. One interrupt lands on the Shadow Men. Is there a counter spell? Yes. Now Zuniaki's double interrupted. Shadow Men spam coming in. I think he's going to be able to keep himself alive. And I don't know how much longer Waz can keep up this chase. So far, Method Black, they've been dealing with the pressure quite well. And Zuniaki, his mana is doing really poorly. I don't know how much longer Enlight can keep this up. They need the freezing trap now. Can Kara get it? Raikou sitting on top of Chaz to make it difficult to land. Kara, he doesn't want to risk missing it, but he needs to go for it. He manages to sneak in right as Raikou moved away. Waz could be in trouble. He's overextended. He knows that. He's going to evasion, but maybe that's not even enough. The double interrupts, though, they're racing for the kill. Kara defends it. Zuniaki gets Stampeding Roared. I'd almost like to see them use the Stampeding Roar, maybe even the Master's Call to get Zuniaki at Chaz for a Psychic Scream. It feels like they need a little bit more crowd control if they want to kill Waz. They're not really able to enable... Uh, 
Chaz. Yaki, Chaz stunned. They need more crowd control. They don't have it. Iron Bar connects. Is it going to be enough? No, Gladiator Safeguard is proc as well. Multiple defensives forced from Method Black. They are still on match points in this best of seven grand finals. And Light looking like it's possible to pull it off here. And the restoration Druid meta. Zuniaki looks to battle against it. Manages to break out of the polymorph. Zuniaki's marching towards Chaz ever so slowly. But if he gets there for a psychic scream, this could be a KO for Waz. Oh, what is no! That, that is a big mistake by Chaz. Now, if they got the Master's Call, Zuniaki, he's marching. He moves slowly, but he's eventually going to get there for <laughs> the Psychic Scream. <laughs> Interrupted on the Shadow Mend. Moving forward with Rapture. He needs to get the Psychic Scream. Car oh. gets polymorphed on his disengage. Oh, good job, He can't get there for the Freezing Trap. Chaz repositions. They know that this next Freezing Trap, if they get Psychic Scream, it's over. They lose. They cannot get Psychic Screamed. Zuniaki knows that, too. He's trying to march over. Car jumps over, interrupts Chaz. They need to land the Freezing Trap. A car gets stunned. Zuniaki is stunned. He can't get anything either. Cyclone attempt, not able to find it. Car goes for what could be the game winning freezing trap. If Zuniaki can get there, it's going to be over. But he doesn't want to. It looks like he's a bit worried about going out in midfield. He doesn't want to get killed while going for crowd control. The Masters call a bit uncoordinated. Chaz jumps, or Cassie jumps over for a potential interrupt, but Zuniaki has fallen too far Paint's behind. Pain Why is he not? Pain suppression. Safeguard. And I guess he's going to rely on the Gladiator safeguard. He's almost completely out of mana. They're still in a game-winning situation. If they can get that Psychic Scream, it's just all about getting Zuniaki to Chaz. They need a trap at this point. Trap and just a stunlock. A trap? I mean, maybe. I mean, Waz could be in trouble. We've seen the amount of damage that Jungle has put out in the past. Waz is on the run. He gets the kidney shot, but he's still in trouble. Cassie looking to close out the game. Kara moving in as well. Zuniaki, what is he going to do? He has the paint suppression. uses it at such low health with the mending bandage. He gets interrupted. Zuniaki has to survive. There's the penance. He's still in it. Waz? If he lands a shadow man, Waz could easily fall also. This is a back and forth game. Zuniaki barely holding on. He lands oh, the spear. But is Waz going to fall? That's the question. Where's the trap? Kara has to get the trap out of the Psychic Scream. They get the stun. They get the trap. Waz is in trouble. Raikou knows that. He's trying to protect him. He polymorphs Kara, but Kara jumps out of line of sight. Waz is trying to go for the kill, but Chaz is still crowd controlled. This is a bit of a risk to take. Kara's mending bandages on point, really making it difficult for Waz to generate pressure. Frozen Orb going to be fading here shortly. Dark Archangel available. They've got one more push left, I think, and Light have one more big opportunity to kill Waz and close it out, but... Right now, Zuniaki's in a chokehold. He's totally out of mana. They're just tunneling him down. Barrier is going to buy a couple of seconds, but maybe not even. I don't think it's going to. Big Frostbolt from Raikou. Where's the flurry? They need a flurry proc. There it is. Zuniaki, how are you still alive? Ray of Frost on to Zuniaki. He's penancing while he's doing whatever he can to try and counter pressure, but now Vendetta available in nice two. Fear. They defensively psychic scream, but even that has now subsided. Vendetta available. I mean, Waz should just press it at this point. Just close it out. He is going to, and I think this is it. I don't think Zuniaki has anything left. They can't deal with the damage. Frozen Orb is out as well. Method Black are going to be taking game number four. Zuniaki in defiance, but ultimately... Just repair. He's got there's it. There's no way, right? He might be able to survive. I mean, I want to say there's no way, but it's Zuniaki, and he can do whatever. He's managed to survive. The Gladiator Safeguard does proc, and I like that they're going after Raikou. Going after Waz didn't seem to do enough. I think controlling Raikou a little bit more in this matchup, but I think it might be too little too late. But N Light, I think they've realized what they need to. They could, you know, end up losing this game, but in the next game, How? I think it's going to be going after Raikou. How is he still alive? I, I don't know. Like I said, Zuniaki, <laughs> Garot Silence comes in. Cheap shot what? on Cassidy. Waz Die! cannot believe it. Rapture comes in. He's actually going to survive. Rapture is going to be enough for him to survive. He gets kidney shot on the Rapture. This is unbelievable right now. What is happening? He's been trained down. He's been out of mana. He's essence oh, is doing no work, way. but the double interrupt, all the frozen orb damage, Comet Storm, Ray of Frost, and that's it. Zuniaki, oh, oh, oh. good night. Well played by Method Black. That was a really good strategy. But in the next game, like I said, I think if they focus more on going after Raikou, it's going to be a different story. All right, first things first, we've got to say, Zuniaki's cooldown management in that game Perfect. was absolutely impeccable. I don't think there's another Discipline Priest in the world that would have survived that, and I think that proves your point a little bit, Zico, that having Zuniaki on this roster is a difference maker, and it's quite a visible difference maker in that game. But on the flip side, one of the things I wanted to, to posture when they did lock in the Rogue Mage Druid is that, yes, with a Death Knight composition, they can win one game, but they have to win four games. And with the Rogue Mage Druid, I've got this small feeling that there is a, there, it's the high percentage play. Maybe they can pull it off.
yeah, I guess they're both low percentage play, but it's maybe the higher percentage play. Uh, I mean, this is Method Black's Rogue Mage, right? They, they they have a lot of experience playing against jungle. They they know how to execute these strategies, and you know, Chaz again did such a great job. Raikou as well in this game uh, shut down a lot of these traps with the polymorphs and Chaz landing cyclones onto Cassidy, landing cyclones onto Kara, and hibernates actually onto Cassidy as well. I think he's gonna go for one uh, right here. You can see it uh, right there. He's gonna go for hibernate cast and this time around Cassidy did shift it but throughout the match uh, Chaz did keep landing some of these solo double CC's essentially so he was very annoying for Enlight to deal with and uh, reduced the you know the effectiveness of the DPS on that roster so uh, really good job uh, by both Chaz and Raikou and of course Waz he just needs to survive needs to apply the pressure and you know eventually you'll kill Zuniaki uh, Usually it will go a little bit quicker against some other priests, but uh, nonetheless, they managed to take the game. This is classic Method Black. You know, they're throwing composition after composition in the way of end light. Whenever they're faced with one of these curveballs and they don't know what to do, they'll think about anything that works. And then the last resort, if they're down and they have one more chance, it's almost always this Rogue Mage Druid that comes out. And their Rogue Mage Druid is absolutely on fire. It's crazy to see how good these guys can play that composition even in the face of such a formidable jungle cleave yeah well i mean we saw what happened to the chalky milkman we saw what happened to change my mind and uh, none of those teams were able to even take a game off uh, and light but and they tried similar strategies too uh, with tunneling the priests so really good execution on method black's part but now we're going to the sewers it only gets harder yeah we're going we've got three more map maps to come all of the small maps are available, and Enlight gets to choose all three should it be required. Yeah, I mean, it's literally going to be... I mean, this is a nightmare situation for Method Black. Obviously, that strategy actually looked pretty good. I mean, it did. I think that's something they could replicate. Going after Raikou, I mean, maybe they won't actually be able to do that. Maybe they just get controlled too much, and Waz is going to have way too much uptime on um, Zuniaki. We'll have to see, but like you said, it's literally going to be back to back to back to back, small maps that Method Black is going to have to win in. I mean, if there's any team that could pull it off, I think it would be Method Black. Like we kind of talked about, their rogue mage just seem, they, they're just really disciplined. I mean, the amount of control that they put out, Raikou and Chaz, they have really good synergy defensively. Then, of course, Waz and Raikou, they have really good synergy offensively, and they're able to put out pressure but also keep control of the game, not fall behind and make it really difficult for Zuniaki because although he's doing a great job managing his defensive cooldowns and rotating through them, it's a really hard spot to be in where you have to keep yourself alive with Waz and Raikou tunneling you down and then also keeping your free team by dispelling polymorphs, you know, dispelling the hibernates in those situations. And it's it's basically an impossible task for Zuniaki. So we have to see Cassidy and Kara put out more pressure because I don't think Zuniaki could do a better job living. I really don't. Yeah, I, that was literally the perfect game. If you want to watch How to Survive as a Discipline Priest, watch that game again and again and again because that was perfect, I think we can say, from Zuniaki. Really good game from him. But on the flip side, I think one of the big difference makers, as you say if you looked at this matchup in Legion you'd say the Rogue Mage should always go on the Feral Druid because it's hard to control him but now that Hibernate's back in the game in Battle for Azeroth actually they are able to annoy Cassidy a lot with Hibernate Sheeps they're able to kind of force him out of form and it's really difficult for him to keep up time which is surprising for a Feral Druid but we'll have to see how it does play out it's still a mammoth task here for Method Black they're the two-time champion you would think they can do it but they need three in a row one mistake one fault and they will end up losing this cup to end light. Zuniaki and his team need one more game on the map to take cup three in summer. I really want to see them utilize their mobility with the stampeding roar and the master's call to get Zuniaki to Chaz. I think if they are nailing psychic screams, then there's absolutely no way that Waz survives. In that last game, it felt like they were focused almost entirely on defense, but I think they can mix in a little bit of offense with some team coordination. And if they do so, Dalaran Sewers is a great map. It's very close quarters. Zuniaki will have a lot more opportunities to get that crowd control. Although it looks like instead they're going to use a Psychic Scream on the Rogue and a Freezing Trap on the Druid to remove the Rogue threat, enable Zuniaki to get some damage out and go after Raikou. During this first crowd control attempt, though, oh, the Cyclone was one second too late on Raikou's Temporal Shield. That would have denied its heal. That could have been big. And Light mixing it up. Was Cassidy not running Cyclone the last time that they played? I feel like I didn't see a single one from him. Yeah, they might not have been. This time around, it looks like he is, so that could be a key factor to Enlight's victory here on game number five.
And big damage on Raikou. He gets cycloned up, and this is exactly what we want to see. Cyclone the Temporal Shield, cyclone up that Iron Bark. And Raikou now, he has to play a lot more defensive, and that's what you would normally expect in this matchup. Raikou getting tunneled down. Waz trying to create pressure, but if Zuniaki and Waz are having this little 1v1, Zuniaki can land full fears onto Waz, and he can keep himself alive. Now, Raikou moving forward. He's trying to get some help, extra damage on Zuniaki, but that leaves him susceptible to the Discipline Priest damage. Waz throws in a defensive blind over onto Cassidy, of course. His strategy is just sit on Zuniaki. Look at this full fear. This is when they can get aggressive. Dark Archangel with a stun onto Chaz. This should be the first ice block from Raikou if they can find the damage. But Raikou manages to blink away. He's holding on. And I, I think going for Cyclone was a really intelligent decision by Cassidy. All of a sudden, he can soak up some of those interrupts. Raikou's going to have to interrupt Cyclone instead of Shadow Mend from Zuniaki. It allows him to heal himself up a little bit more. And of course, we saw what a nightmare it was for Zuniaki to actually land fears on Chaz. So now they have that extra diminishing return with Cyclone in this match. And that's the extra crowd control they need to maybe take Raikou down. All right, let's see if Enlight can do it. Waz taking some hits here at the boxes, but Chaz looks like he's ready to recover immediately afterwards. Waz having a difficult time staying on target with these boxes. The line of sight is quite a big blocker on Dalaran Sewers. Chaz looking for crowd control. Cassidy's locked down. It's three versus one on Zuniaki. Cassidy cycloned again. The crowd control of Method Black onto both Kara and Cassidy is devastating. It's stalling all of the momentum that they've had throughout the entire tournament. Chaz is stunned. Cassidy jumps over, but doesn't go for the freezing trap. He jumps in, interrupts Raikou. Needs to land the freezing trap, gets it. Raikou's in trouble. No temporal shield for two more seconds. This is the time that they need to get an ice block. Can they get it? Cassidy gets stunned away. Concentrated flames are flying in from ranged. They don't, they don't get it. They, they get the ice barrier and the iron bark, but they really needed an ice block from that attempt. Getting the ice barrier is not a big victory, but they did manage to pull out the iron bark. That is important. Raikou getting a little bit low, but we've seen Raikou in this tournament so far play a little bit greedy. We have to make sure that he's not, you know, eating a big bite or big damage coming in from Kara. Temporal Shield gets traded out by Raikou. That's a bash on Chaz. Can he survive? Temporal Shield heals him up. There's a fear on Waz, and I think this is one of the big adaptations we're seeing is crowd control on Chaz at the same time Zuniaki lands a fear. That gives him just a moment to breathe and top himself off, and the Raikou hasn't been able to basically do any damage to Zuniaki in this game. He's just been completely on the defensive. Zuniaki now going for a drink. Raikou blinks in, but that could end up costing him an ice block. Yeah, definitely could. Mana is even. That's surprising, and I would say that it's not good for Method Black. I would feel that they need a lead in that regard. Can they pull it off? Zuniaki's got Dark Archangel rolling. That's going to increase the damage of his entire team by quite a bit, but Raikou's avoiding them, kiting back to the side, dropping a Frozen Orb, looking to kill Zuniaki here. How, they, how will they respond? Pain Suppression's available, surprisingly not pressed by Zuniaki, instead relying on potentially that Gladiator Safeguard Absorb later on to heal him up. Raikou's clone, Chaz is in the trap. Who are they going after? It looks like Raikou still. Zuniaki not able to find any Psychic Screams. The crowd control on Chaz is still devastating. They get the Glider Safeguard again from Raikou, but that Temporal Shield should be more than enough to recover. Waz's pressure is surprisingly high on Zuniaki. I feel like he's been soloing him for most of the fight. Raikou is having a hard time getting over there. Cassidy going to disengage away from the crowd control and also support Zuniaki with a Mending Bandage and try to pressure Waz away. So Enlight, they're changing their target. They're going after the Rogue a bit more now, although potentially they should be going after the Rogue and the Mage. Maybe they just win the race. I mean, they killed Chaz in the first game so quickly, uh, and it looks like that's what they want to do. Maybe this is the one thing they haven't experimented with is actually just attacking Chaz. They already get Barkskin immediately. Yeah, that's a good job by them. They managed to get the Barkskin. He sells a Trinket available. Zuniaki, I think he should be able to hold on. And this could just be one of those strategies from Method Black where they literally just want to get Zuniaki out of mana. He was able to hold on for quite some time in the last game. He sells a lot of defensive cooldowns. He can rotate through! But as soon as I say that, the double interrupt comes in. Massive burst damage from Raikou and Waz. And they put another point on the board. Now things aren't looking as good for Enlight. Yeah, Method Black with two convincing wins. That one was definitely much better, honestly. The defensive play from Raikou on point. Uh, the offensive play, they were able to get the kill faster. Zuniaki still have a lot of cooldowns in his arsenal. But even if he hadn't died there, mana was dwindling. And it did look like Method Black have a sound strategy in this matchup. Yeah, it seems like they have a nice strategy. But at the same time, 
there is a couple of things that Enlight can still be doing here. Uh, they could try to do more fear wise, stun Chaz, and go after the mage. They could even just all in Chaz, uh, like they started doing uh, at the end there. Uh, and the only thing is, uh, when they did that, Zuniaki actually had to leave the pillar to dispel uh, a lot of the CCs, uh, you know, the polymorphs on Kara, hibernates on Cassidy, and things like that. And uh, also, uh, I'm, I'm not sure if Zuniaki can, but if he pushes him with his team, a strat like that could potentially work. All they need to do is find one win condition, and there is a lot of different options. They already tried Killing Waz, and in this game, they did pressure Raikou a lot more, and this is the moment I'm talking about. They have to go out and dispel Kara, have to dispel uh, Cassidy as well on that Hibernate, and then all of a sudden, Zuniaki, he's spending globals, you know, that are, aren't efficient, that aren't healing him, and here he gets CS, he gets kicked on the panel as well and then here this massive blink frostbolt flurry combo from Raikou combined with the Envenom is just enough damage to take him down in that kick he still had a lot of defense left but it wasn't looking great so Nuffle Black they kind of have a strategy that can potentially reverse sweep here but they need uh, but Enlight still have a couple of options to explore yeah we were saying it was almost an impossible task but never put any task past Method Black they're halfway through now they've won two in a row they need two more games if they are to take this grand final obviously a very clean finish there the double interrupt coming in onto the discipline priest now we've got to look at end light they obviously they do have a couple of options available to them do you think there is a world where they bring in the red warrior or do you think it's just not favored into the frost mage resto druid i don't think i would want to play if i was a red warrior i don't think i'd want to play in the frost mage restoration druid i don't know if that's no. going to be an option maybe on the small map maybe but i don't i don't think so uh, this is scary for N Light. It's I mean, not looking as good as it was like yeah, half an hour ago. Definitely hour, not. <laughs> it just seems like Zuniaki just controlled the entire game by Waz. Going after Waz doesn't seem like the best option. It just leaves Chaz and Raikou too free to do whatever they want in the match. You kind of have to pressure down Raikou, but with the Gladiator Safeguard, Iron Bark, Temporal Shield, just a lot of defense that Raikou has available. And it doesn't seem like they, they, I mean, they didn't, they were close, but they didn't actually get an ice block that game. Yeah. And like you said, even if Zuniaki traded out the power barrier there, you know, the Desperate Prayer, his mana was just dwindling, and it just seems like eventually he goes out of mana, he can't keep himself alive. I think what Enlight needs to do is somehow find a way to get more aggressive in this matchup, because the long game definitely doesn't favor them. Yeah, it certainly seems like that, and maybe the answer we did talk about it a little bit could be tunneling down Chaz. I know you're a bit of a fan of Zug Zug strategies here, Super Tease. Do you think that's the answer that they need in this next game? I mean, it's something they can afford to at least try. I mean, if they lose here, they still have one more game left in the tank. Whereas if they save that option to the next map, then they risk everything on an all-in. I don't think that's the time that you would best want to do an all-in. Better to do it when you still have a little bit of room uh, to wiggle. I'm wondering if they do try any sort of different composition. I kind of doubt it. I think it's just going to come down to strategies. How aggressive do they want to play? Can Zuniaki stay alive longer while being tunneled than Chaz? Uh, does Zuniaki play aggressive? Does he try and maybe Psychic Scream the DPS? Use Freezing Traps on the Rogue and the Mage? Try and just get crowd control on the Rogue and the Mage and kill Chaz? The same way that Method Black are doing to End Light. This is the only option that we haven't seen them really fully employ, and it's one that I would like to see, especially on this map, before we get to the game number seven. If we get to a game number seven and that doesn't work, then I don't know what they're really going to do. I feel like they've tried most of their options. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, they're giving it all they have with the compositions they have available. That's all we can ask for them. It's all that they've done the entire tournament. Method Black finally seem to have found something that works for them. It is the composition that they... This is kind of... <laughs> it's a familiar story for Method Black. Yeah, uh, they tried every comp in the game except the comp that got them here. So <laughs> now that they tried it, it seems pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's not like Method Black either to be deterred by other teams losing. Like, I, yeah. I've heard many times Raikou will say, you know, um, oh, well, this mage lost to this, but or this mage won this, but it doesn't matter because I would be the better mage in that matchup. So they basically, they watched that Chucky Milkman. That doesn't sound like Raikou at all. <laughs> <laughs> they watched Chucky Milkman lose. They watched, um, they watched Change My Mind lose. And it actually stopped them playing the comp for three games in a row, which is kind of uncharacteristic. Almost cost them the series, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it may, it may still well, you know, they can't afford a single mistake at this point. Yeah, and Light, obviously a very explosive team running that jungle cleave where really anything could happen. I mean, in that moment where Raikou got low, another crit, he just dies. So he has to play very carefully. I think Waz as well. He's been doing a really good job balancing that offense and defense. Honestly, that's a black just all over the place. They've been really good, yeah. Doing a really, they're playing this matchup 
basically about as well as you can. I think for Cassidy, it's really hard. When the Druid casts Hibernate and the Mage casts Polymorph on you, what do you do? <laughs> I mean, if you shift out of form, you get Polymorphed. If you stand form, you get Hibernated. And it's that kind of plays we're seeing from Raikou and Chaz. Normally, you would do that against a Restoration Druid, but seems to work out just as well against a Feral Druid. Yeah, I definitely sympathize with Cassidy. It's an impossible situation when you're a Resto Druid, now it's an impossible situation as a Feral Druid. He's feeling a bit of the pain here, but one more game, and he can also feel the victory. End Light still on match point. Thing is, End Light have crowd control too. They could be using on Waz and Raikou. I, I feel like this is the one strategy that we haven't seen, and I would like... Oh no, Waz got found! That is not good for Method Black. And like it, big crowd control early on. How is Waz going to deal with this? How is he going to deal no with mistakes. this? He's so far behind. Gladiator safeguard. Chaz's Gladiator's medallion. Iron Bark. Three major cooldowns all of the way already instantaneously. Zuniaki once again the target for Method Black. Why change something that's not broken at this point? Zuniaki Ursul's Vortex trying to get a line of sight, but Ray of Frost is channeling through the line of sight. Zuniaki catches a Shadow Mend. Efflorescence plays down by Chaz. Interesting there. Chaz now bashed. Where's the Freezing Trap? Cars polymorphed. He can't get it. Did Cassidy change his build? I'm trying to double check. Maybe he dropped the Cyclone. I'm wondering what he would actually drop it for. It looks like he has dropped the Cyclone. Instead, opting for the Thorns, opting for the Furrer and the Ferocious Bite. The Ferocious Bite makes the most sense, but the Furrer doesn't make the most sense. My Inspect Tool not letting me look closely enough. Zuniaki. Very low on health, but with Rapture activated, should be able to deny this kill. Enlight have a clear win condition right now with no Gladiator's Medallion on Chaz, and I think that is to kill Waz. Ooh, he didn't get the fear. Great job there by Method Black, denying Zuniaki the kidney shot coming in from Waz in the nick of time, but Chaz gets interrupted. Waz could be in a little bit of trouble. He did manage to connect the Iron Bark before going for that casted heal. High level plays, obviously coming in from Chaz. Cyclone now on Cassidy. Zuniaki still just rotting down lower and lower. He sells a lot of mana. I mean, in this matchup so far, we've seen him dip down low, but he always manages to rotate a defensive cooldown and survive. But now, in a kidney shot, a lot of pressure here coming in from Method Black. What is Zuniaki going to be able to do? He's holding on to the Desperate Prayer. He's holding on to the Pain Suppression. He gets interrupted. He gets double interrupted. This is what we saw in the last game. A lot of greed from Zuniaki, but Shadow Men Spam going to be enough. He tops himself off. Nicely done by Zuniaki. So Zuniaki has made a change in his build. He's running Memory of Lucid Dreams. He's running the Ever Rising Tide. So he's going for a late game win on mana in this round. No longer running the Crucible of Flame for offense. This is interesting to see the Discipline Priest actually trying to out attrition the Restoration Druid. How the tables have turned here, but it's still quite difficult to heal through, even though he will have more mana. If his health reaches zero, it's over anyway. Struggling to stay alive. Rapture activated, big powered shields incoming. Kara trying to secure crowd control, activating the coordinated assaults, but there's no freezing trap. They've got bigger damage, but they need crowd control. Cassidy tries to carry with a skull bash. I don't know if it's going to be enough. Waz gets stunned up. They do at least get his gladiator safeguard absorb out of the way. Freezing trap sniped by Kara. That's a gladiator's medallion. That's an evasion. That's a big mistake, but they're going all in for the kill. They need to take Zuniaki out in this moment in time. Otherwise, they've thrown two of their biggest cooldowns out the window. They have Zuniaki still in so much trouble at this point in the game. Full kidney shot does land. Does Raikou have any additional damage? I see Vayne's coming up shortly. Uh, I can't help but feel like Zuniaki's going to be in a world of pain. He does have decent mana at this point in the game. He tops himself off, but every single kidney shot is devastating in coming from Waz. And Waz has had really good positioning. He's not overextending, not allowing Chaz to heal, and he goes in at the perfect moment. Then he comes out, trying to avoid as much damage as possible. Now, Zuniaki, he's softened up. Are they going to be able to find the kidney shot? They managed to find the interrupt. Zuniaki drops the power word barrier. He realizes there's a lot of damage potential here, and he manages to get the barrier on the kidney shot. Very nicely done by Zuniaki. He has the Dark Archangel. There's a full stun over on the Chaz. Is there any follow-up crowd control? Unfortunately, Kara not able to get there. Zuniaki gets interrupted. He's still in a lot of trouble, Sid. All right, Zuniaki, how are you going to make it out of this alive? Even with the ever-rising tide, his mana is lower. That's not looking too good for N Light. They were looking to try and drag this fight on as long as they could, but I'm not sure how long they ultimately can. We have not even gotten to dampening. One minute still away. Zuniaki stunned up, but Chaz is in a trap. Waz pre-faints this attack, but he's forced to run away. Zuniaki's moving in for the Psychic Scream. If they get this, this could be it. Waz is in trouble. They're on match points. They need just a little bit more damage to take him down, but he's still holding on. This is a surprising amount of healing, keeping Waz alive at this moment in time. He's desperate, though. He blinds Cassidy. 
It's not really desperate. It's also crowd controlling him for the kill on Zuniaki. Big Shadow Man's come in, but at the cost of a lot of mana and even still not really recovering. Interrupted now. Penance follows up. Ray of Frost not going to be doing enough damage to break through that power shield and desperate prayer. Zuniaki holds on once again, but that mana is not looking too good. Chaz pre-iron barks this setup exactly what he needed to do before his Gladiator's Medallion comes off cooldown. And I would say that Method Black have a lead outside of some surprising amount of damage. I think that we're going to game seven. Could be. Chaz gets interrupted. Zuniaki, how's he going to hold on? He gets interrupted. He needs to find a Shadow Man. Cassidy has to help him out. He's got the power barrier. Is he going to drop it? Is he going to greet it? Mending Bandage comes in. Waz gets caught into a stun. And Zuniaki's going to top himself off. Big heals coming in from Zuniaki. His man is not bad. And now Waz could be in some trouble. He's trying to reconnect. Double Fear comes in from Zuniaki. Thorns. Waz has to think twice. He's used his evasion. He's used his Cloak of Shadows. And I think this could be it. And Light maybe looking to close out this cup and take down Method Black. Waz with beautiful defensive plays. The Iron Bar comes in from Chaz. That costs Method Black everything. But they stay in it. They stay alive, but the next freezing trap could end it. If Cassidy and Kara can coordinate together, Waz is in a whole lot of trouble. But Zuniaki now equally so stunned up. Kara supports him with the Mending Bandage. Cassidy is moving in for the kill. Kara needs the Freezing Trap, but Raikou's sitting on top of him. Kara doesn't want to risk missing the Freezing Trap, so he's holding on to it until Chaz and Raikou move apart from each other. Kara cannot afford to miss it. He needs to land it. Raikou blinks away. Kara sees the opportunity. He jumps on Chaz. He lands the Freezing Trap. They have to kill Waz in this moment in time. They have to kill Waz in this moment in time. Constant and traded flame flying in, but it doesn't look like enough. They bash him. Do they need a little bit more damage? Somehow Waz is staying alive and staying aggressive on Zuniaki. Finally now forced away, at least for a moment. Chaz is out of crowd control. Iron Bark stabilizes. For now, it's going to be fading pretty shortly. What in the world is going on? Waz just constantly dancing with death in this game. Chaz gets interrupted. Waz still in a little bit of trouble, but he has to vanish. At any moment, he could use the vanish to cheap shot Kara, cheap shot Cassidy, and keep himself alive. He's going for the aggressive play. What is he going to do? It's a risk at this point. Does he commit the vanish? Does he wait? He gets caught into the main. Trap is rolling on Chaz. Waz is low. Zuniaki with the growth silence. Waz trying to keep himself alive. He's in so much trouble. He gets stunned. Blind comes in from Waz once again, defying death with these defensive plays, uh -oh. and now getting aggressive on Zuniaki. Shadow stepping in in style to interrupt Zuniaki into a full stun. Great combo of crowd control. Zuniaki's in a lot of trouble as a result. If Raikou snipes in a counter spell, no counter spell available for two. Shadow Man's come in clutch. Iron Bark preemptively on the stun. Waz has a choice to make. Does he keep playing aggressive or does he try to run away? It looks like he wants to play aggressive, but Chaz is interrupted. He's he can't heal. Waz has to evasion, but he's still so low. Penance comes in. Maybe Zuniaki closes out. He's got Rapture. absolutely no mana left in a full kidney shot. His Hunter in a polymorph not able to support, but he gets the barrier down. He's got Rapture. Power Word Shields coming in. The ever-rising Tide Azerite or Essence is definitely paying Zuniaki a lot of favors right now at a higher chance to restore mana. It's keeping him going. Just a little bit of juice left in the battery to keep him going to try and close the series oh, out. Oh, this could Jazz be it. Crowd controlled Waz pre-faints. Now looks to close himself. Both teams in a lot of trouble. Could be a cross kill. Zuniaki, I have no idea how he's alive right now. Penance comes in. He's got thorns. Waz can't afford to keep attacking him. He's going to recover. Waz it has to run away. He has to respect the thorns damage. Zuniaki stays alive, but so does Waz, and somehow this game is still going on. Yeah, but Waz in a lot of trouble. There's a stun on Chaz. Waz has to try to keep up the pressure on Zuniaki. If he can't stay on Zuniaki, all his pressure will be lost. He's just so low. The next trap easily closes out the game. Look at Waz. He's only got his vanish up coming up in 23 seconds. He goes for the kidney shot. Mame stun over onto Waz. Interrupt onto Chaz. Kara has to get there. He needs the intimidation stun. He needs the freezing trap. He manages to find it. Zuniaki gets interrupted. Can he hold on? Stun coming in from Cassidy. They want to take down Waz. They want to take down Method Black, but Waz just won't die. He drops the smoke bomb. He might be able to survive, but Surely. it's too much damage. And like does the impossible. They battle it back. Zuniaki is just MVP in this series, in this tournament, doing such an incredible job. And n -Light, hats off to them. Whether it's 2011 or 2019, Zuniaki must not be denied the absolute insanity of survival on this piece. The entire team playing fantastic. The mending bandages, the thorns, the heels, whatever it is, it's enough.
barely for Method Black to be defeated. N Light are the champions of the first cup of 8.2. Honestly, hats off to all of them. They they played such an incredible series here in the finals, and the lower bracket run they had as well. Zuniaki, man. This guy is, he, he's not even playing a priest, he's playing a tank because this guy <laughs> just doesn't go down even without cooldowns. He has the perfect CD rotational, uh, like the CD management. He gets kidney shot at one point, Waz is going down, Zuni's going down, Zuni comes out of the kidney shot, gets one shield off. Man, this game was so close. Before this, Zuni should have died for sure. And here, he tanks a CS on Shadow, which doesn't, which, uh, doesn't let him use that Dark Archangel goes for a Shadow Man anyway after that, activates the Dark Archangel for a little bit of extra damage there in the end. We got also commend Waz for some of these defensive plays it's he made. Insane. I think most rogues would have died way before that point in the game, to be honest with you. I know most rogues would have, yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, he dropped the smoke bomb to protect himself from the hunter, you know, with the evasion as well to protect himself from the feral, the defensive blinds, the kiting back and forth, the decision making to stick on the target and to run away just a great series a great series and that's the, one of the things that made it such a great series was that we we hype up and light but method black were really playing insane all the compositions they brought to the table they did play them out of their mind which makes it even more emphatic that and light were able to pull through and let's confirm it in the bracket i honestly think that's the best grand final we've seen uh this entire season certainly in europe absolutely insane and light 4-2 victory over method black their points earned is 120 they had 32 coming <laughs> into this and they've earned 120 absolutely insane we haven't even got into north america yet north america is up next but that was a great way to finish off europe i, I mean i couldn't set it better myself honestly like zico said hats off to meta black they played that series absolutely phenomenally and light with it basically an impossible win i can't believe that they managed to pull that off but they did they were prepared with the jungle cleave and then they had the answers to the teams that had their number with you know the counter cleave set up with that retribution paladin warrior and they really showcased their versatility in this tournament here today just a really good that. job this is this is incredible look at the european region right now so european points are <laughs> updated for cup three uh north america is just based on the first two cups but this is three out of six cups so we're halfway through the european season here but obviously 8.2 just hit and N light are storming their way through now in sixth place with a three-way tie for third 160 points just eight points away from them chalky milkmen are still in the game this is so close i don't think anyone could call a top four from europe right